understand what is it. And please, fellow tech master, welcome here our Vince Pound. Well, luckily for everybody here, I made sure to very quickly explain. Speaker, sorry to interrupt. Found it? I switched. I almost cut this out of the video. Never happened. Restart this camera now. Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, like <clears throat> Alex had said, that he made a like, oh, I'm not quite even sure what he means by that. Well, quickly I will explain the difference. So, today we're going to talk about Jesus. We're talking about this kind of juice, <laughs> not this kind of juice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what we want you to look like. <laughs> so, today we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to learn all about juicing. We're going to talk about, well, why should I juice? We're going to look at what should you juice, and what kind of juicer should you get? Is there a bunch of different kinds? So, why should I juice? Well, vegetables are good for you. Duh. <laughs> When you juice a vegetable as opposed to just chew it and eat it, you get a better bioabsorption of your vegetables and your nutrients. It is an easier way to consume a lot of vegetables. We don't get enough. This will entice you to, to consume more. It also is a lot quicker. So it is an easier way to add a variety of vegetables to your diet because you can mix a whole bunch of stuff together instead of just mixing with one or two things they actually do like. So on the topic of bioabsorption, Wiktionary describes bioabsorption as the process whereby substances are absorbed by the tissues and organs. Or organisms. All right. Juicing basically is kind of a one-step pre-digestion of your food. Now, when you just mm -hmm. chew and you have chunks of food inside of you, your body still has to rip it apart and pull the juice out. So basically, when you're juicing, most of your nutrients end up inside of you, inside instead of in your toilet. So helps you get the most out of your vegetables. Most of us have impaired digestion anyway from a lot of our poor food choices. Juicing helps detoxify, and even though it's a little bit embarrassing to talk about, it actually is really important. When you talk about people who juice a lot, when you talk to them and say, what are the benefits of juicing? Time and time again, digestion is going to come up because it really is a big deal. Let's just say it is a lot more, much more pleasant experience than used to. So, when, a big difference between juice that you buy on the shelf and juice that you buy, that you make at home, is, well, there's no preservatives. You don't have to put any preservatives in it because you're going to drink it right away. When when you get something off the shelf and you've got preservatives in it and it's probably been pasteurized. Now, I'm not saying that's the most horrible thing you can do, but the preservatives are things you don't need to be, be consuming. It's not good for you. It's just there to make sure that you don't get poisoned by bacteria that are filling in the juice. So it's a good thing they put it in there, but it's better if you just juice it at home. And when you consume it right away, well, right away when you when you juice something, after five or ten minutes, all of a sudden, already, your the antibiotics, the, the, the enzymes, and the antioxidants start breaking down. So, it is the healthiest to drink it right away. If you pasteurize it, all enzymes are dead. Anything that's alive in the juice is dead. So, it is much better to drink it right away. Very fresh. So, it helps you consume more vegetables. We're supposed to have a lot of vegetables, four or five servings a day. Most people, even if you try to shove them in, you're probably only getting one or two. And a lot of people probably thinking, well, I didn't have any vegetables yesterday or last week. So we we're supposed to have a lot, we barely eat it. So instead of downing a giant salad, you got this big plate of salad, it takes a long time to eat it. It probably disincentivizes you to even want to make the salad in the first place. It takes a long time. So instead of eating this giant salad, juice it. Throw everything that would be in your salad in your juicer, and whenever it comes out, just drink it. It might sound like it's not that good, but it tastes the same as what you would be eating in the salad on the plate anyway. So. It has a more potent flavor, so I, and it goes down a lot more quickly. We only have one or two cups of it instead of this giant plate. And I like to use the pulp, pulp for soup, but you can mix it in, you can make it in smoothies or various other recipes. But what I like to do is I take, I juice it, I drink the juice, and then I take the pulp and I put it in a pot with water, chicken broth. I usually throw something like quinoa or hemp or flax or something like that, chia seeds. And then I put in some kind of soup mix. So there's either a soup mix or just a canned soup, just to add extra flavor. Because you pull most of the flavor out with juice. So you put in and put it back in, and you kind of make it your own, really. And I end up really liking what I make. There's a picture of Joe Rogan, if you didn't know who that was. He's the host of Pure Factor. He's drinking, he, he took a, the whole, his whole salad, cucumbers, kale, 
pear and ginger, <laughs> mix it up, there it is, it's good. Vegetable bread. We don't eat too many different vegetables, usually we kind of stick to a few that we like, maybe we like carrots, maybe we like tomatoes, or something like that. Well, you can say, well, there are a lot of different kinds of vegetables with different kinds of flavors and different kinds of nutrients that have other different kinds of benefits, like digestion, where you can just throw in a little chunk and you won't even notice the flavor, especially if you mix it in, right? Or if there's something maybe you're not that big of a fan of, mix a little bit in and you won't even notice it. Or if you get that tiny little bit of extra flavor, maybe a little sweeter or whatever, and make it even more interesting. And there are other benefits to eating different vegetables, like, for example, knocking, it'll lower your chance of, of allergic reactions, of being in different kind of, it, it'll kind of get your body used to different things. So, what should I choose? Start with what you know you like. Instead of trying to go out and choose anything that you find at the grocery store, start with stuff you know you like, because then you'll actually be more interested in juicing. I would recommend always including carrots. Carrots are a lot sweeter than you think. And they taste really good, especially when they're fresh. If you go buy some junk at the store and it has carrot juice in it, it's not going to taste good as stuff you make at home. It will allow you to mix some stuff you might not like. If need be, if you think if you're trying to juice something and it doesn't taste very good, go throw in fruit at first to make it a little more palatable. Throw in an apple, throw in a pear, whatever it is. Make it a little more palatable. Branch out over time, try new things, mix a little in, and you'd be surprised. For example, if you look, juice doesn't taste the same as the whole vegetable. For example, I'm not a big fan of bell peppers. They have that weird taste, I don't know, like tobacco or something. <laughs> but when you juice it, amazingly enough, it's probably my second favorite vegetable juice. I like, I drink pure bell pepper juice. It's great. <laughs> and potatoes, I'm like, oh, potatoes, that means, must be one of those things like cucumbers and zucchini that is, or celery, it's kind of like very watery, and you can kind of cut down all your other vegetables and water it down and make the taste less potent. No. Potatoes are gross. Don't juice them. It's weird. <laughs> After five minutes, they have three layers. One's like this foamy head, and then there's this dirty juice, and Ooh. there's like a polymer at the bottom. It's disgusting. It's literally like glue. What the heck is this? So I would recommend not doing that. <laughs> what kind of juice? There are a few different kinds. Centrifugal is the one you typically see. There are the cheaper ones. They have fast spinning blades and stuff that slice the food at 10 to 15,000 RPMs. So if, if you push the juice down, it cuts it up, and then it spins it really fast to basically check the juice, and then it falls down. A masticating juice goes a lot slower, a lot pricier, 200 plus, and what it does is it basically grinds it really slow in comparison, 80 to 100 RPM, and gets more juice. It doesn't heat up the juice, which means it saves more of the nutrients and enzymes. Other kinds of juices, a citrus juicer, basically the hard seeds in citrus fruit and some other things are things you don't want to throw through your typical juices. Awesome blenders, not typical crappy blenders, like a Vitamix or a Blendtec. Uh -huh. In fact, uh, Vitamix is what Joe Rogan makes make his salad. And Yonanas is the thing on the right side. And what you do, I actually have one of these too, is you put frozen fruit through it, especially bananas because of its consistency, and it blends together and creates basically churn. That's really it. So, conclusion. Juicing gets the most out of your vegetables, far more than if you just eat them, and far more than the junk you buy off the shelf. It makes it a lot easier to consume all the recommended veggies, and it gets you to try new foods, like I said, bell pepper. I don't even like pepper, really. And reap all of their different benefits. I like to just throw a couple of juicing documentaries at the end. Fat, sick, and nearly dead is juicing emphasis. It's emphasized on juice. I recommend checking that out on Netflix or whatever. And there are a few others that are include juices that are not really emphasized. But I really would like to suggest fast if you need it. That's all I got here. Thank you. Thank you, Wings. You can hope everyone today who <laughs> have a glass of juice. So we speech. Now we have all three speeches done. Okay. We go in, in